Will I cry? Will I leave behind broken and crumbled signs? Hiding all my roads to you. Uh oh. And if I fight, will I come to life? Calling for all your life. Giving all my heart to you. Uh oh. channel I have Bambi with me she's the whole way through this video she's in the background stealing eyeshadow brushes and frutella so this is the makeup look that I'll be showing you today this is an everyday makeup look that I I tend to do in the day um, if you do follow me on Instagram you'll know that this is totally going wrong already the video didn't go that great by the way um, yeah, so this is an everyday makeup look for me if I'm going out in the day. Normally at home, you know full well if you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram that I look like a hideous witch or all throughout the day, like I've just escaped a nut house, literally no joke, and all I wear is a robe. But when I am being like a normal person, this is my makeup look. I don't contour, now I'm telling you the whole bloody thing. So I hope you enjoy the video, and a massive thing that I need to just tell you, this is before you go to me with no makeup and you're like, I have hormonal skin, I suffer with really bad hormonal breakouts and I didn't plan on doing it whilst I had such horrific skin but that was just how it was and we all have these moments and at least the products that I've showed you are going to be clearly, if they're covering up my skin, maybe I didn't do a good job, I have no idea, then at least you know they're good or not and it's just, you know, we all have bad skin that we have to do the makeup. I'm just trying to explain that the next clip you see of me I'm going to have a hideous spotty face so... This is the makeup look. Um, it's my first real sit down video makeup look and I'm not really sure how I did so let me know and I hope you enjoy the super long tutorial. Don't judge, don't judge, don't judge, don't judge me on this video. I need to put that out into the universe, do not judge me. But this is honestly me at my worst. I swear it's completely me at my worst because when you're not like a natural beauty, you don't look as good with makeup on anyway, so I'm already probably shocked the life out of all of you. So sorry about that. But it's the time of the month and I have hormonal skin, I suffer with hormonal breakouts as it is. And honestly, this is a bad month for me because normally I'll have like one here, that like you can see, and I'll have like a big, horrible, disgusting spot. When it's bad, I'll have like one on the other side, and when it's really bad, I'll have like a cluster on both sides, which I have today. Today is like hormones on steroids because I have one here. Never ever have I had a spot here above my cupid's bow, so it's bad today. And I just thought, this is so typical that the day I've scheduled this is... You know, that's an absolute lie. I never schedule, schedule anything in my life. I literally just thought this morning I'm going to do my everyday makeup look. And then I was like, no, I can't because I've got hom hom hormonal skin. And then I just thought, I'm all about being real. My channel is all about being real. So what's the point in showing you an everyday makeup and then postponing it when I look better? That's not very real. So I just thought I'd stick with how I normally go and... This is just what you get. And okay, let's just get into my everyday hormonal makeup look. So obviously, as you can see, I've done my eyebrows. That's a whole new video. That's a whole video in itself. So I'll leave my eyebrow tutorial below if you'd like to see how I did that. I've also prepped my skin. I have like three skincare skincare routines. I can't speak. Do you know I had lunch before this because I never have lunch before filming, and that's 90% that makes me so scatty in the videos. So I was like, I'm gonna eat. Can you see that? I've tried to clean it and then I was hair drying myself and then I was going to change my t-shirt but I just thought, oh what the hell, I'm just going to keep it on because this is how I do my makeup. I've got salad all down me. Just to quickly tell you how I prep my skin without going into detail, this, I've already used this because I wanted it to dry by the time I did my makeup. This is insane. Uh, this is the By Terry Tea and Tan Face and Body. So you can put it all over your body but it's, well, you can but for £35 and this small. I just think it's really good for the face. Prepped my lips with the By Terry Rose Balm. This Rose Balm is amazing and it's really nice. It gives you like a nice colour, like very natural colour if you don't want to wear any lipstick. So everything's prepped, eyebrows are done. Now let's get into the actual video. 
sorry if that is long, but it's not possible for me to do a short video. Okay, so first step, I'm getting super nervous now because like my makeup's been going quite well lately and if you're new to my channel, you will know that I've practically taught myself and every time someone says, oh, your eyebrows look good today, Claire, I can't believe it because I've literally taught myself, it's just practice. So I'm just gonna show you how I normally do my makeup. I apologize now that it's gonna be chatty and long. If you wanna get like straight into like makeup techniques and methods, I probably am not the video for you. But um, if you enjoy a chatty makeup tutorial of some really good products, then this video is fine, yo. <laughs> okay, so first product, so far not doing very well, didn't even show you this. I've been using this for years. It's the MAC, um, what is this? It's called Paint Pot and it's kind of like primer, eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to, let me just use this as a mirror. So I'm going to pat that, oh, I watched one of my, my other Brit Awards getting ready with me makeup video and I was gobsmacked, honestly. I was, when I was editing it back, I could not believe I'm surprised my skin didn't fall off. I was so rough with my skin. I really couldn't believe it. YouTube has taught me so much when it comes to like eyebrows and kind of helping myself along. So one of the things I've learned from that is to be more gentle with my skin. So I try to use this finger, the finger with the least muscle mass in it, but it gets so frustrating. So anyway, I just pat that along my eye. Oh, it looks so ugly, I'm like. Okay, so we pat that along. So I do, I've all of a sudden got really nervous, like feeling under pressure. So I do, I do the eyeshadow first and I do the eyeshadow because I don't want everything to fall down onto my foundation. This is just something that I prefer doing myself. So one of my favorite palettes at the moment is this by Terry palette. And um, this is an eyeshadow, just all eyeshadow. And I just love them because, well, first of all, I just love the colors. They're very earthy, which is quite good for most color eyeballs. And I love how I, how I, how matte it is. I really love the matteness of this product. And when I'm in the mood for something a bit more sparkly, I'll use my NARS one. They're not sparkly, but they're ones that I have are a bit metallic -y. I'm talking too much, aren't I? So I just use the, mm, mm, this very, very, the lightest color. And I'm going to pat that, pat that over my eyelid like this. And I do this just because I uh, I do I like to brighten up my eyelid, and I pat that on gentle with a smaller eyebrow brush, as you can see, like this one. And then I'll get more of a fluffy one. This is a Body Shop brush, and then I'll just buffer that in. Something that I've learned over time. I need to stress that I'm not a, not a makeup artist. Like. I've said before in my videos that when I used to work at Harrods, I literally used to get like taken to the side and being like, clear your makeup, honestly. And I didn't do it bad, I just didn't wear any and they really didn't like that. So I'm literally the girl that couldn't do makeup. And I want this video just to be really relatable and just kind of stress that you just teach yourself and it's all about practice and blending. That is what I've learned. And less is more. So if you want a lot of eyeshadow, it's better to build it up and then just keep on blending it. So I'm only going to do this eye, and then... Oh, I fully went in my eye. I'm going to do this eye, and then I'll catch up with the other one. Then I take a new brush, which I don't have there. Okay, I have one here. And I'm going to take this mid-brown colour here, and I'm going to not use... You don't need, need a lot of this product, and then I'm going to put it... Can you see me? I'm gonna put it like probably just about halfway down the eyelid. And I find that if you really get your eyeshadow right and build it up and blend it and use the different colors, they, it can really make your eyes pop. So I'm just lightly tapping this all across the halfway of my eyebrow, uh, eyelid. And I'm not a makeup artist, this is literally just how I do my makeup. And I try to like bring it up so it's not all messy over here, you can see. And then I'm gonna take the same blending brush I'm gonna go in the crease of my eye and then just blend that all in.
Then I'm going to take the smaller brush again and I'm going to take the really dark colour here. The tiniest amount because this goes really far. I'm going to take some along my lash line, some of the product along my lash line because a darker colour on your lash line will make your eyes pop. Literally just the smallest amount. And then I'm going to take some more in the crease. Can you see how much has gone on my eyelid? There's, I've put hardly anything on the brush. So I just blend that in. On the crease and the outer corner and the free tones blended together. Then I take the big blending brush. I keep getting a glimpse of myself, it's so offensive. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so lucky I'm married, otherwise who else would have me, honestly. I have just got hormonal skin. Like I know I keep saying it, but this is me at my worst. And if I'm all about being a real channel, how could, I'm either real or I'm not real, like I can't do it in between. Okay, so both top of the eyes are done. Um, so going back to what you need to do a good makeup look, apart from the practice and blending, which are the key things, the next is the product, but don't worry about that because I've got you covered. The third thing is matching the right colour tone, so foundation, eyeshadows, stuff like this. So. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to prime my skin. This is a new primer that I've got and this is Hourglass. Um, everything that I'm using I'm going to link below. So I only need just one squirt of this, rub it through and I'm just going to rub it into my skin. I've noticed this smells like the spa, it smells absolutely gorgeous and I never use the word gorgeous. Um, uh, using a primer makes a huge, huge difference. Makes your makeup stand longer. The best thing about this one, this is only like £20, something like this, and you can get it a lot bigger, but I love the small one. Um, it makes your foundation look dewy all day long. That's what I really like about it. So even if you've not got a dewy foundation on, foundation on it will give you a bit of a dewy look. Brushes, you need good brushes. What is the next thing that I do? Foundation. So I really love these artist brushes. I really, really like them. And an affordable version are the new look ones. Honestly, I love them. They're, per they're perfect. Normally I have these ones at my London flat, but that one managed to scrub its way, way back here. Foundation. Oh my God. This foundation, everyone is, not everyone, but quite a lot of people have been saying on my Snapchat um, and Insta stories, even when I don't use the filters, saying my skin looks dewy and glowing and it's because of this and I've been saying to all of you honestly it's my foundation it is insane it's insane I don't like thick cakey foundation this is quite heavy but it's not like cakey and irritating my skin like the Marc Jacobs one I love the way that looks but I have to be in the mood to wear it because it's very cakey so normally I I was gonna lie then but no, I don't think it's great to put it on like this because it's not very hygienic, but I have exfoliated, it's mine, I don't share it with anyone. It probably is better to put it on a brush. So you need quite a lot of this. I'm worried that I've like forgotten something in between. Oh well. You need quite a lot. I mean, I'm not putting loads on. That mirror is too zoomed. And the guy, I got this from Space and Kate. So I love to buy all my makeup online because it's just easier. I don't have to go to different counters. I know what I want and it all comes in a lovely box all together. I ordered everything you see here online except for this foundation because I really couldn't work out what colour I was. So I went to Space and Kate on Kings Road and this guy was so nice. We I was in there for ages. Um, we decided this is the right colour for me. This is nude. And then I also got warm beige, I think it was. And I like to carry it down the neck because otherwise you're going to have a dodgy colour. And I like going a shade darker than my own skin. And then I got the other one for when I really need a darker one. I'm not concentrating at all because I'm talking, look how scary I look. I always forget about this bit. So that's more than enough. I got carried away talking. I knew I'd forgotten something. I knew it. I bloody knew it. I told you, didn't I? These are the other two. Um, these. So this one was recommended to me by Lydia. I have the funniest story. So once I had like a mini operation, 
about a year ago or something and they told me like is anyone picking you up and I was like no no one's picking me up and so I they said make sure you get a taxi I don't know what the hell how the hell happened but I walked from Chelsea oh, I should really be blending this in look at save me so I walked from Chelsea and Westminster Hospital to Space and K which is quite far it's about 25 minute walk and I had my band on I must have looked like hideous and Lydia says all she remembers, because I don't really remember, she told me I was like off my head on anaesthetic, clearly, and she said that I called her, I think I might have told you this before, and I was talking to her like, what's that pie cherry thing you was telling me about? And she was telling me and she just thought it was all really weird, and then she said to me the next day, and I was like, I don't remember. And I didn't buy it, so I don't know what the hell happened. So she recommended me this. And then, because I work with Netta Porte, uh, I was picking a few bits that I wanted to try. And some of the By Terry bits, like this for example, um, they sent me this whole pack, which I'm yet to try. And lots of other things that I hadn't tried before. I, I didn't ask for that. Um, and it's one of my absolute favourite things. Let me just let... I've got my jeans on down. Come on in, Babu. Come on. Come on, Babu. Come on, do you want to come in or not? Okay, right, fine. I'll leave this open for you then so that you can come in and out. Hey, Bamboo, because otherwise you're going to scream. You're missing your chance, the door is closing. Uh, yeah, did that make sense? So, um, I've lost what I've said. You've confused me now, Bambi. So normally I put this on before. This is also great if you don't want to wear any foundation and it will just brighten up your skin. It's literally a brightening CC serum. This other one, I picked this one. This one is the Sun Glow. So what we could do is when I have a liquid foundation that I squirt like this, I'll put them on the same brush together and I'll mix them in. So technically this will be the same thing because I've already got this on my face. So I'm just gonna pat that in with this foundation. But you can use them on your own. Oh, God, that is actually so much. I don't... This is because I was talking to you. I was getting them carried away talking to you. I don't actually wear this much. Do what I've done, but maybe slightly less. But it's okay, it's not that bad. Bamboo, do you want to come and sit on here? Yeah, Bamboo, come on then, Bamboo. Come on. Here's Bamboo. Say hi, you want to sit on the fluffy seat? So I just do it quite lightly in round circles and I just take my time and I bring it into the hairline. So you can already see from the coverage how much that's covered up here. And these are really raw spots, like these ones here. It's like, you know, when it's at the worst stage. I'm going to put a bit of setting spray on this now, actually. This is the L'Oreal one. I really like this one, I just sprayed that all over myself. Um, and I'm just gonna set that into my foundation just to make sure it's really set. I'm now going to use this, which is another thing that I absolutely love, another product I love. When I was in Space and K the other day, I've just realized that I've lost something. Um, when I was in Space and K the other day, I said to them, is there anything else you think I need? And one of the products that I bought was the Becca Champagne Pop, which is my second one. I smashed my other one after having it for two days and they recommended this to me and I love it. I, I Honestly, you have to get this. Everything I'm showing you, I do think you need, especially if you like the makeup look at the end. You might even do it better than what I'm doing it. Um, but this is sensational. It's so light and brightening and I just dab that in, kind of like in a triangle shape. So that's enough and then I'll use the excess down my nose, like that. And remember always put cream before powder, never the other way around. Um, and then I'm going to put a bit on my cupid's bow and I have some pigmentation here so I'll dab the excess, excess on there. And then I'm going to take um, a small one of these again and just lightly massage that in. It's so brightening. That's that done. Um, then we're going to contour the nose just because I kind of have to do that. And I'm using the Rodeo. I got this at the 
from Award Style Dallas Conference last year. And I've been using it ever since. So contouring, something's making my tickle on my face. So the idea of this is to make your bridge of your nose look as thin as possible. So you're shading it and do a very straight line. And then bring that down from the bottom. I'm putting very little of this as well. And then I'm just bringing it close to the bridge, trying to make that line in the middle as straight as possible. And I'm going to let that bake because I learned that a few months ago. It does make a difference when you let it sit there and rest for a while. And then I just use the excess here. So that's that, I'm looking a little bit more appropriate now, aren't I? Um, then we're going to take some concealer. This is when I met with the PR before this came out. She described it to me as like an eraser, and it's exactly what it is. That's not the name. I'll list it below. And I'm using Light, and it's a soft matte, but I also have another one that's custard that's a bit darker, which I probably should have used. And I'm just going to lightly put them on my disgusting, hideous fat spots. And then I let, let it rest, and like kind of the heat of my skin letting it melt. And this is always in my bag. I don't use this under my eye because it's too matte and it's not reflecting. So fantastic for spots and blemishes, but not for under eye. You have to use the Becca for that. What a difference that makes. So that goes straight into my bag. Another product that I've recently discovered that I love, and this was thanks to the PR, like I had a, um, I haven't showed you. This is the Topshop Glow Pop. So, where the light hits you, I've got lights in front of me on my mirror. I literally do it where the light is. So it would be along here. And I wore this makeup yesterday and it literally stayed all day. And I realised that that's because of the process that I'm doing. Like blending, building, putting cream under the powders. Like I'm going to put a, a powder over this, but the cream is what makes it stay. Then I'm going to put some on my eyebrow bone here. And the ex excess here. And then just some above my brow bone here. So highlight is meant to go where I seem such an idiot telling you how to do it when I'm not that great. Um, but highlighter is... Ooh. I'm just going to blend this in. Then I'm going to blend in my contour. I'm literally picking up the most random brush actually for this. Literally anything, this has got like a bit of a thin edge, so I'm just going to blend that down my nose, completely not going in the middle. Then we are going to do set the under eye, because there's no point brightening that all up if you're not going to set it. So this is the Laura Mercier. Love this, absolutely love this. And I'm just going to use a small fluffy brush like this, take a tiny bit and pat that on my under eye. And that's also going to set and bake. Bake as makeup people like to call it. Again, a little bit there. And then here for a slight bit of contour. Just a light contour. And then avoiding any of those creamy cover up places. And then we're going to blend in, is this crap, this video? I'm literally just doing my makeup and talking. I definitely could have done it a bit more um, quicker, but you know, that's me. I'm just gonna go over with that cover up again. And I feel like when I'm really concentrating doing the um, makeup videos, I'm not as on point personality wise, because I'm generally concentrating where I'm, I'm still learning myself. I'm not really that confident. Now we're going to take the same eyeshadow palette, the thin brush, not the blending brush, and we're going to take this light this light brown colour. Hi Bambi! 
I'm going to tap that. I was going to blow then, and then lots of people are telling me that that spreads bacteria, which is probably true, so I don't do that anymore. So we're going to start in the middle of the eye. Be careful with the fallout. And we're going to go to the end of the eye, and I'm going to bring that all along the crease line. And this just basically makes helps the blue of my eyes pop without wearing eyeliner. And they're going to blend that with the brush. And then I'm going to do the same again so that it's nice and built up. And then if I was going out in the evening, I would just bring it, drag the colour down more and make it more darker. And maybe even add eyeliner. If you want me to show evening looks and the fresh day look, just let me know and I'll do it. Then we're going to take that same dark colour and we're just going to do it in the outside and then bring that excess into the middle. And then I just take that blending brush and I bring it all the way up here and kind of blend it into that brow. My eyelash curlers. Can't ever do my makeup without eyelash curlers. I'm really sorry that this video is long. This is only like my second get ready with me. And the other one was actually a Brits video, so that was all, all over the bloody place. Then I'm going to use my Givenchy Mascara Primer. This is sensational. This is not out until June, so we're nearly there. And it, I can't not use this now. I'm using it with every single mascara that I use because it makes my eyelashes just thicker. So this is the Becca Champagne Pop. It's the best powder. And we're just gonna take it over where we went before, just to make that set and last longer. I'm loving all the knicker shots that you send me, by the way. I literally love them. Some of you have been showing me your mum's been doing it. And you will say how it works, because it does. Use the hashtags. What was the hashtag? CC knickers? I'm she kept knickers? God, I can't even remember. This is the only product out of this whole video that I've not used. And this is the Dior Show Pump and Volume. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I went to the launch of this with Bella Hadid. I had no bad expectations of Bella at all. I was just going there expecting her to be, you know, the fabulous Bella Hadid, but I was blown away, really. And you're not going to believe what I was most impressed with, but it was her ankles. Her ankles were just insane. Like, that's a real supermodel when your ankles are that fantastic, like, long and slender. And she was such a lovely girl. So, I'm just putting a light coat of that on. And I'd rather put a couple of coats. I like a lot of mascara, like too much mascara. I like that look. I really like this mascara. I feel like it's making my eyelashes look really long, which is exactly what it says is volume. So I didn't actually think about the name then. This definitely is a volumizing mascara. It's very black, which I like. And it's... It's um, thick, but not clumpy. Oh wow, love this mascara. Yeah, you need to get this. My eyelashes. I'm using quite a few mascaras at the moment that I really, really like. This is without a doubt making my eyelashes look the longest. Oh my God, I need to stop putting that on. Okay, now we're gonna do bronzer. And the palette that I want to show you, I don't have because it's in my handbag. Oh, swine ball. Oh. What the raging hell. Alternative that I use that's just as good is the NARS Laguna. And I start from the middle and then work the way up. And it's all about the blending and the eight we're going to use the Laguna today and then I would use the normally use the blusher in the by Terry palette but I don't have that so this is another alternative like obviously we have like 25 of each product I really like this by um this Charlotte Tilbury and I get a bit of the dark pink and the light pink and I do it just on the cheeks so I have to smile 
and I just think this is a nice build up to the blush to the bronze and I would normally put on a second coat this absolutely doesn't use it I'm so impressed with this, this mascara I didn't think it was going to be this good I absolutely wouldn't put another layer on of that then I would just quickly set my skin with Bare Minerals I've been using this for years and years and years like literally since I was at school practically um, and I'll just take a big brush for that just tap the lid and pat that in and literally just to set okay so now I'm going to set my whole face with the L'Oreal spray shouldn't talk straight after that and then I'm going to use final thing my lipstick and you know at the end of my videos I normally pop something on that's like like a bonus thing like something from my snapchat or instagram stories today wait to the end of the video you're such a funny one i came home last night really late from london and he uh, I, I basically pranked him and it's so funny it's one of my favorite snapchats so no it was on instagram stories so if you're not following me on instagram stories that's the kind of thing you're missing so i'm using well mac well lip liner and i'm just going to do my cupid's bow first That's Bambi. Bambi, no. She's got a frutella. Give me the frutella. Oh, you're so sh determined. So MAC Well with MAC Doa. I like it that this is like, not. it's like matte and shiny. I hate matte lipsticks. And I love the texture of this one. So that is my finished look. Sorry if it's long and if there's anything, do, would you, are you happy with me, me keeping them chatty like this and literally talking for everything I'm doing and then telling you about what I had for lunch yesterday in between? Or would you prefer me to do it more like technical, like fast forward in, maybe a talk over, which isn't really me. But this is the final look. Hair tutorial coming soon. I think that's it. This is the final look. You can shop everything in, I'm so unexperienced with these videos, I'm like making it up as I go along. So everything, every product that I use, I've linked in the description box below. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll know to do something similar. If you'd like me to do evening, natural look, skincare routines, just let me know. And any recommendations that I see in the below, they're the ones that I'll basically do next time. So I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe. Bambi, now you've got my lip liner. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, bye. Bye. Ha ha ha!